Alright, hello guys, how's it going? In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at our very exciting preliminary summer 2020 forecast here. Now, before I get started with this very exciting video, though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather-related content, and also make sure to share this video with your friends, family, and social media. Now, for today's comment of the day, I want to know what is the most extreme weather experience you've ever had in your entire life, and I'll pick my favorite one of those stories for tomorrow's video. Let's get into this video though, and first things first, we're going to be looking at our precipitation forecast for the summer of 2020. And first things first, we're starting out with a below average area here, and we're going to be talking about parts of the northeast as well as New England there. Uh, upstate New York is included, northeastern Pennsylvania as well as northern New Jersey. They're all going to be included in this slightly below average precipitation region, and we're expecting some drier than normal conditions here. I can recall a few summers and falls where we've had a lot of below average precipitation for this very northeastern region of the United States, and it looks like that's going to be occurring once again. Now we even have a second layer here, and this is where we're going to have moderately below average precipitation here, and this is mostly going to be for, you can see, southern New England up through coastal Maine and regions in New Hampshire. That's an area where I'm expecting to be particularly dry, and if you're wondering why I think that this area is going to be moderately below average precipitation, I looked at all of the climate models and every single one of them is in agreement that this area is going to be below average precipitation, so our confidence is the highest in this region that we're going to have some below average precipitation. Now we're about to move on and we're going to start talking about our second area of below average precipitation and then finally we will get into our very large area with above average precipitation where I'm expecting very very active thunderstorm pattern. All right, and our second area with some below average precipitation is going to be for northern California there, northern Nevada, and then regions throughout Washington and Oregon there in our slightly below average precipitation region. Now, let's go ahead and add our above average precipitation region, and this is going to extend from Texas northward through portions of the plains, some of the upper Midwest, and then back down through the Ohio Valley and into the mid-Atlantic. This is also going to include the southeast and the deep south states. Again, a lot of these regions are going to be in this column because they're going to have a very active thunderstorm pattern, and also I'm expecting a above average chance for tropical activity along the southeast coast and the Gulf Coast. I'll be talking about that a little bit later in this forecast video, but all of these areas I'm expecting to have some above average thunderstorm and severe weather activity. Now let's get into our second layer of above average precipitation, and you can see that this also takes up a very large swath of the southeastern United States, some of the lower Ohio Valley there, as well as portions in the mid-Atlantic, some of the south central United States, the deep south, and the southeast as well. Again, just going to be very active as far as uh, thunderstorms are concerned, and also there is that chance that we could see some tropical activity within this region as well. All of that coupled together is going to lead to very uh, me being very confident in our above average precipitation for this region. Now we're about to get into our very exciting temperature forecast here. We have a lot to talk about. Some areas are going to be very, very warm this summer, I believe. And then some areas will be quite pleasant, actually, and maybe even slightly below average temperatures. Now, here is our above average temperature region, and this is our slightly above average temperature region. First off, you can see from the northwest all the way down through the southwest into the four corner states and a little bit of the south central United States as well, and then back up through into the Ohio Valley, some of the Great Lakes, New England, the northeast, the mid-Atlantic, uh, and then back through the southeast and the deep south. All of these regions are going to be slightly above average temperatures. It could vary, really. We could see some areas be more above average than others within here, but nevertheless, we do expect most, if not all, of these areas will be in the above average temperature column. And you can see it's doing that little bit of a horseshoe shape, and that's also pretty much what we're forecasting for the springtime as well. We're expecting that this trend of a horseshoe of warm weather around kind of the more pleasant near average to below average temperatures to continue throughout this summer. Um, we're going to have to see if that continues throughout the fall and winter months of 2020 to 2021, uh, but really the trend usually looks to continue for quite a long time as the ocean temperatures lead to these types of patterns and the ocean temperatures don't really switch that quickly. All right, now we're about to move on and we're going to actually take a look at our moderately above average temperature region here. We are going to have a big, pretty big swath of very 
moderately to highly above average temperature regions here, and then we're going to get into our below average temperature region. Following that, we will get into our severe weather forecast for the summer and also our hurricane forecast for the summer. And then at the very end, we will talk about our overall forecast. Very exciting stuff coming up. Now, as you can see, there's a pretty big area in the south central United States through the southeastern United States and then back up through the Ohio Valley and the northeastern United States that we are expecting to be moderately above average. The models are very confident in this area being above average temperatures. It's been this way for a while. Again, the trend is our friend. We have seen this area be quite warm for a while now, and I'm expecting that to continue through the summer months. I think that this area will be pretty consistently warm and do expect some heat waves to occur, especially for the south central United States, just as maybe last summer and last fall went. Uh, unfortunately for you guys, I remember you guys were really dealing with some big heat waves, and I think that might be the case once again. Now, getting into our slightly below average temperature region, we see for the upper Midwest here, the Dakotas, Nebraska, Iowa, and portions of Minnesota and Wisconsin as well, will be maybe slightly below average as far as temperatures are concerned. And this is the area that I expect to be the most pleasant through the summer months. That little bit of cooler air is going to lead to some very temperate summer conditions. And I think you guys are looking forward to some very nice weather up there for the upper Midwest throughout the summer months. Now, let's get into that severe weather forecast that I told you guys we'd get into. And this is an area here in the pink that I'm expecting above average thunderstorm activity. Uh, from the south central United States through the Great Plains, portions of the Ohio Valley, the mid or the mid Atlantic, and then even down through the southeast as well. All of these areas with above average precipitation. This is basically our above average precipitation region. I think we will also have above average thunderstorm activity. However, this is where I think we, in this deeper, more cherry red color, will have more severe weather than what is typically expected. And this is the area where we have above average precipitation and also where the colder than average air meets the warmer than average air. Those two things combined leads me to believe that that area from Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri, Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, even portions of northern Arkansas uh, will be dealing with the most above average severe weather this summer. Not this spring, but this summer. From June through into August, I think this is going to be our most active region right there. Now, we're about to move on. We're going to get into our hurricane, a little bit of a hurricane update for the United States. And then we're also going to get into that overall forecast. Very exciting stuff coming up here. All right, so here's our hurricane little outlook here and all I have to say is that it looks like we're gonna have a bit of an early start and also above average activity for these pink regions not necessarily above average land falling hurricanes or tropical storms um, remember our summer forecast includes August which is kind of one of the bigger months for hurricanes it's probably the second biggest month September being the biggest so hurricane activity and tropical storm activity is expected during the summer months uh, I just think it might get to an early earlier start. We might see some more June and July activity than what we're typically used to. Uh, and also, I think that the Gulf of Mexico and also the main development region are both going to have above average development earlier on. I think this could lead to some above average chances for landfalling tropical activity during June, July, and August. Now, let's go ahead and get into our very exciting overall forecast here. First things first, we're going to start out in the northwestern United States with our more dry region there for Washington and Oregon. Now, this area is also going to be a little bit warmer than normal, but it is going to be more dry than normal, and that's going to be the more noticeable effect there. So that's why we're in the more dry column. Now, to the south of there in our orange region, this is an area that could be warmer than normal, uh, but the confidence is only maybe medium at this point. We're going to have to wait and see as we head forward with future summer forecasts before we get a definitive answer there. Uh, confidence is a little bit lower for the southwestern region here. Now, we do have a flip-flop region expected in this yellow area to the east, and people always wonder what that means. Well, we're going to be going back and forth between different types of patterns, cold, warm, wet, dry, all that. It's going to be flip-flopping all over the place. Uh, to the south of there, more big heat waves possible for Texas. I know we were dealing with that last year, and I'm expecting that to be possible this summer as well, unfortunately. To the north, that's where we expect the heart of severe weather to be. Once again, Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri, northern Arkansas, and through Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, and southern Wisconsin there as well. All of these red areas are where we expect the most severe weather to occur, but not all of it, obviously. 
to the north below average temperatures. Obviously not going to be cold because it will still be summertime, but it's going to be very pleasant, I believe, for this blue area. Michigan, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Iowa, Nebraska, the Dakotas, and then even through Montana and Wyoming. Now, for our orange region here, just to the east of that blue region, we are expecting big warm-ups to be possible. Now, this area is probably going to be pretty close to normal, and then I expect at times we could see some really big warm-ups and maybe even heat waves for this area for Ohio, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. To the south of there, we're going to be dealing with some stormy conditions. Again, that's where we're expecting some above-average precipitation, but I expect above-average thunderstorms to be the biggest note there. Now for this pink region down below, we're going to be dealing with possibly an early start to the hurricane season, and that could lead to possibly some early tropical impacts for the coast. So I just think that that's the biggest note to be aware of that I think that we could get to an early above average start to the tropical season. And then it, for our upstate New York and New England area, last but not least, dry and hot for this region. Not a lot of precipitation, but definitely going to be quite warm uh, compared to what we're typically used to for that area. Now, for today's comment of the day, I asked you guys, what was your earliest memory of a weather event? And EZ Carbs said, earliest weather memory was a hailstorm that happened when I was four years old. I have not seen hail since. I like these elusive stories of weather events that aren't very common for you where you live and you experience it. And then it's something that you feel like is very special because you haven't seen it since. I think that's a really cool story. And I think everybody has a pretty similar story to something similar to that, whether it's snow very far south or hail in an area that doesn't typically see it. Very, very interesting stuff. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, be sure to share it with your friends, family, and social media. I will see you guys in the next video.